to create a Zanes graph from Zanes data acquired on the Ideas Beam line of Canadian Light Source. Simply open up the data folder containing your data, right click the data file itself, and select Open With. Choose any text software you're most comfortable with. Notepad is probably the easiest to use. Select the software and select OK. Now, we would like to copy all of this data and paste it into Excel. So to copy it, go up here to the top left under the Edit menu and select the Select All option. Back under the Edit menu and select Copy. Now, to paste this into Excel, open up a blank Excel workbook, right-click cell A1 and select the Paste icon. That is how you import Zane's data into Excel. Now we need to trim this up for just the information we are concerned with. All of these various parameters up here are just beamline and facility parameters that are not used for graphing this. So if we select row header 1, hold shift as you select row header 22, right click any of the highlighted row headers and select delete, you will remove them. What is now in cell A1, as denoted by I0x, this should be renamed to energy EV, as this is the energy detected by our detectors. Now, columns B through E, as denoted by I0, sample, reference, and dwell time, uh, are not going to be used for graphing anything. And so if we select column header B, hold shift as you select column header E, right click any of them, and select delete, you will remove them. Now we may not know this beforehand, but your sample might be too thick, too thin, or not have the right concentration to be detected by absorption mode. And absorption mode deals with norm sample and norm ref. So to check to see if your sample was insufficient, select column header A, hold control as you select column header B, go up to the insert tab, go over to the charts menu, under the insert scatter or bubble chart drop down menu, select the insert scatter with smooth lines option. Now if norm sample looks like this or something similar, and norm ref looks like this or something similar, your sample was insufficient to do absorption-based designs. And so in which case we'll delete this graph, and we'll delete columns B and C as we had done before. Now what are left with are the fluorescent mode zanes. And for this example, I have iron K alpha, normalized iron K alpha, iron K beta, and normalized iron K beta. The differences between the unnormalized and normalized data, uh, they have the same shape, they have the same energy for each feature that is associated between the two, uh, but the main difference is that uh, the unnormalized data ranges to the full extent of all of the photons counted, whereas the normalized data ranges between 0 and 1. The differences between the K-alpha and the K-beta are these are two different transitions that the electrons could take in releasing these uh, photons. And so they will have different features, but they will be at the same energies. And so to graph these, select column header A, hold shift as you select column header B, go to the insert tab, go over here to the drop down menu for the charts, and select the scatter with smooth lines option. And here we go. To see the difference between the normalized and unnormalized data, I'll simply shift this data over to the unnormalized, or from the unnormalized to the normalized, and you can see the shape hasn't changed. Now, to see the difference between the K alpha to the K beta, from the unnormalized K alpha to the unnormalized K beta is vastly different. They have a way different shape. But they both tell us that it's the exact same element of iron. And so going back over to the K-alpha, we can see here that this graph is fairly complete. The only thing that we're missing is a rigorous title, and in which case, choose a title that is appropriate. That basically lets us know that this is a Zanes measurement on the iron K-alpha. And then you'll want to follow this up with your sample name. Now, the other thing that we're missing are axes titles, because right now these axes are meaningless without it. And so to provide the titles, go up to the top right over here to this charts elements and select the axes titles option. Now the vertical axis is our photon count, or the number of photons counted at each energy. Along the bottom here we have our energy, so label that energy EV. And there you have it, a Zane's graph.